Hi, this is problem 22 from the 2018 AMC 10A. Let A, B, C, and D be positive integers such that the greatest common divisor of A, B is 24, G, C, D of B, C is 36, G, C, D of C, D is 54, and the G, C, D of D, A lies in the range of 70 to 100. Which of the following must be a divisor of A? Okay, this looks a bit confusing. So I always need to draw a picture for this type of problem Otherwise, I get lost. So uh, the type of picture I like is to draw a graph connecting up the numbers in question. So we have four numbers in question, A, B, C, and D. And for the lines joining them, we'll note what the greatest common divisor is. So from A to B, the greatest common divisor is 24. That's 2 to the third times 3, 1. From B to C, the common divisor is 36. 2 squared, 3 squared. From C to D, 54. And from A to D, we don't know what the greatest common divisor is, but we're told it's in a range of 70 to 100. Okay, so with this information, what does this tell us about the numbers A, B, C, and D? So let's start off with B. So since it has greatest common divisors here and here, we know that B has to have a factor of 2 to the third, at least. And it has to have a factor of 3 squared, at least. So these are lower bounds on the factors of 2 and 3, and it could have, have other factors as well. But that's a good start. So what, is, what does this tell us about C? C has to have a factor of 2 squared, at least, and 3 cubed, at least. And D has to have a factor of 2 to the first, at least, and 3 cubed, at least. And let's see, A has to have a factor of 2 cubed and 3 to the first at least. So looking at AD a little more carefully, we notice that at first these are lower bounds for the factors of 2 and 3, but we notice that since the greatest common divisor between A and B is 3 to the first, and we know that B has at least a 3 squared, we know that A cannot have 3 squared. It can only have 3 to the first, so in fact we know that A has 3 to the first and no more. So by a similar logic, we can find that D has a factor of 2 to the first, but no more. So we know that the greatest common divisor between A and D has to be of the form 2 to the first times 3 to the first times some additional factors, which could be of the form perhaps 5 times 7 times 11, times 13, times 17, whatever. So these are sort of the question mark factors that we're going to try to consider for the greatest common divisor between A and D. Now 2 times 3, that's 6. And let's see. Let's see if we just consider introducing these additional factors one at a time. So if we introduce the factor of 17 all by itself, 17 times 6 is 102, so that's too large. If we introduce 13 all by itself, that does give us a greatest common divisor in the proper range, so that's a possibility. If we introduce 11 all by itself, that introduces a GCD of 66, that's too low. 7 is too low, 5 is too low. If we introduce 5 and 7 together, that's 35 times 6, that's too high. 5 and 11, Obviously, together, that's too high as well. So it looks like the only factor we can introduce by itself is 13. If we introduce any other factors as pairs, that's too high. So 13 has to be included in the greatest common divisor between A and D. And that means A must have a factor of 13 for choice D.